Good morning, good morning, happy Sunday. We're going to do some sculpt and highlight in three easy steps, but I do need to put some base make on up on first. So good morning, good morning. How are you? Um I used my new hair up like honestly, I've not even straightened my hair because my um straighteners are broken. But my hair feels absolutely amazing. I used this revival it's the same range as the shampoo and conditioner that i've been using I, i've got the shampoo and the hair mask but i got the hair oil oh my god my hair feels so good and i've not even got straighteners at the moment and it's not uh it's not too wild so let's do let's do some sculpt and highlight on a sunday morning before we go and do the shop big shop for you chop <laughs> um let's get rid of that um my appreciation dot is open so if you want to share this onto your profile come back and comment shared you'll get an entry into the look good feel good bundle at the end of the month um and if you know the stuff i'm into it's a good one um right i'm going to start off with a little bit of polyfiller for the old face um it's this is the the um, blur primer. It's like a clear gel, and this literally stops your makeup from sinking into your pores. It's just like polyfiller for your face, basically. It fills in all your pores, all your fine lines and wrinkles, blurs out any imperfections. Like I get quite open pores, and this just fills it all in, and it feels like silk. Like literally, feels like you're putting silk onto your face. It's clear. You don't need a lot. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Silk it, silk on your face first thing in the morning. Let's go. And it's it's a quite a big tube as well. So let's. I'm going to be using Camera Ready Pro Foundation, and then we're going to go in with the three step, the three step bronze highlight, bronze sculpt highlight and blush um so i do need a new foundation brush this one's shredding a little bit so this is a camera ready pro foundation so this is packed full of skincare so skincare infused makeup just means that your skin is being hydrated and nourished while you've got the makeup on your face it's not clogging your pores it's actually treating your skin at the same time um now i'm not a big foundation girl so when i tried this i was pleasantly surprised by how it feels because one thing that puts me off foundation and it is why i usually pick bb cream is because of how it feels now if you look how red my nose is there even my eyes to be fair um, this just goes on like velvety, gorgeous texture and it doesn't feel cakey on your face. Which is one thing I can't stand is a heavy feeling foundation. From like wearing BB cream so much, I can't hardly tell the difference between this and BB cream um, in terms of how it feels. And it's full coverage, which means if you've got any redness, any sort of spots, breakouts, it's going to cover it because it's full, full coverage. Right, let's go in with the sculpt. Let's just do a little play with the sculpt, the bronze highlight and the blush. So this is something new that I tried. These are so new. They look, they're like a little dabber on the end. So this is the bronzer. And you just, as you, is that the highlight? I want the, the bronze first. So they twist at the top to open. So you twist this little bit. And then they're like a dabber and it's almost like a little bingo dabber for your face. But it just brings out the right amount. Now I do, around the hairline. just underneath your cheekbone now you don't want to bring it in too far because that's when you get like a bit of a skeleton type of look you just want enough to give your cheeks some definition now if you put a little bit under your lip this pulls your lip down can you see the shadow it's going to give it the illusion of looking fuller 
just going to make your lip look fuller without any injections all about that right so blush another another one of these give it a little twist now if you're over 40 put your blush a little bit higher i do like a c shape here because i used to put blush down here and bring it up but in your 40s if you put your blush here it like drags everything down and makes your cheeks look really plump if you put it higher it lifts everything up if you're in your 40s we're all about the trying to lift things up a bit aren't we <laughs> um so the the last step is the highlight and i put this just over my lip and under the top of your cheekbones and under your eyes here i use this instead of concealer because concealer just doesn't work for me now in my 40s it sits in fine lines and wrinkles so i find this because it's a liquid it doesn't sit or crease like a powder and because it's a highlight not a concealer it's not too heavy go back with my same brush that i've done my foundation with now this just is so creamy to blend and it just gives you a bit of warmth where the sun would be if we had any and i just blend this up so it gives you the appearance of some cheekbones bit of definition but without looking too harsh can you see how we're getting a bit of shape a bit of shape to the face now the idea of this here is it will hide some sins you know like if you've got like loose skin around here because it just gives that defined sort of snatched in jaw look just by adding a little bit of shadow here and you just blend it down so you've not got any crazy lines underneath but it just will bring everything in a little bit and just slim your face down now the blush this is going to lift because we've put it higher up just tap that out You see how I'm getting, it's like, this is like a little mini facelift in it in the morning, just with sculpt and highlight. So you tap your blush out and this highlight, you can just blend with your finger. And by putting it on your top lip, that lifts so you, the darker colour. has made your lip look fuller on the bottom the highlight on the top just lifts that up a little bit and if you want a bit of extra highlight just because why not you can just add that after for that extra glow you just tap it with your finger it literally looks like you've got nothing on your face and that you're just naturally waking up glowing it just it's one of my favorite makeups to do that three um liquids liquid bronze liquid blush liquid highlight and just turn them off <clears throat> you just twist them at the base so that you're not uh keep them nice and fresh um and then i'm gonna use my zen mascara so this is my everyday nine pound mascara it's got two different sides to it. So you've got long bristles, short bristles. Because it's shopping day, let's face it. Um, I want something that's going to just be quick and easy to do and look decent for a daytime look. So I do the long bristles first. Just because I like to get a nice even coat across the middle of my lashes. And then you just turn it over. You go for those short bristles and those are the ones that are like defining. <clears throat> They'll just help you pick up every individual little lash. Hey Kath, hey Alison. Um, they get the little, the side with the little bristles get in between your other lashes and it'll just give the illusion of thicker lashes 
because your lashes are thicker than you, you think you know like there's just all these little ones all these little lashes in between that don't that you don't usually see but this is my favorite for the daytime Do you use the full blast if I'm going out? Just gives you a little bit more of a dramatic lash. But I mean, come on, look at that. For nine quid. Why, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I'm obsessed. And this is the one I nearly didn't try because I'm like, oh, that's the, that's the, in my head, I was like, that's the cheapest mascara. So I'll not get that one. What an idiot. Just goes to show, this brand is all about quality products at affordable prices. Like, look at that. You'd never believe that's a nine pound mascara, would you? Obsessed, obsessed with that. But I do love this glowy lifted kind of look on a daytime and it's just dead easy with them three three easy liquid steps to fresh glowy skin i love it um if you do want to um if you want to grab any of these that you've seen on here um i will be doing an order later i'm ordering nearly every day at the moment um and I can do a colour match for the VX, VFX foundation if you want to try that. Just drop me a match in the comments and I will help you pick the right shade. But yeah, I'm done. I think I'm going to nip out, get all the shopping in. Because I know the boys want peace and snacks for the tennis football bonanza that's going on today. <laughs> so I've got to go out. I need to nip out with a couple of deliveries, get my shopping, get home sort them out with snacks um and that's it for today so anyway i'll stop yabbering on as i usually do and i will see you very soon see you later